GMOs, or genetically modified organisms, are found in many of the processed foods we and our families eat every day, like Fruit Loops and other cereals, oven-baked Doritos, and other chips, and these soy infant formulas. What's more, our recent tests here at Consumer Reports found that contrary to what many people believe, even foods with a natural label may contain GMOs. In all, we tested at least two samples each of more than 80 processed foods containing corn or soy. So what are GMOs? GMOs are created by deliberately changing the genetic makeup of a plant or animal in ways that could never occur in nature. The majority of GMO crops on the market have been genetically engineered to produce their own pesticides or to withstand the herbicides farmers use to control weeds. How do I know if GMOs are in my food? The truth is it's hard to know because manufacturers are not required to tell you. In fact, almost all the products we tested that said nothing about GMOs did contain substantial amounts. We also tested products with different labels and claims. We have long found claims that are independently certified are the most reliable. In this case, the certified claims we looked at were non-GMO project verified and organic. All of the foods we tested with those labels met our standards of less than 1% GMO corn or soy. There are also unverified non-GMO claims, although less reliable, because they are not independently certified, we found most of the products we tested with those claims met our standards. As for the natural label, virtually all the samples that made only a natural claim had GMOs. And yet, more than 60% of people in our national survey believe that natural means no GMOs. This is just part of the reason why Consumer Reports is urging the government to ban the use of the natural label on food. What are the safety concerns about GMOs? You may be surprised to know that the federal government hasn't mandated that GMOs be proven safe before they're used in your food. There hasn't been enough research to know whether GMOs are harmful to people, but scientists around the world agree genetic engineering has the potential to introduce allergens or other unintended changes that could affect human health. As for environmental effects, as GMO crops became more widely grown, the use of a weed killer called glyphosate drastically increased. And that's created a new problem for farmers, superweeds, that are immune to this chemical. This defeats one of the major reasons GMOs were introduced in the first place. So what's the bottom line? Foods that are frozen, made from concentrate, or homogenized are all required to be labeled. That's why we believe it only makes sense that GMO food should be labeled too. But until GMO labeling becomes mandatory, if you're concerned about GMOs or want to avoid them, look for organic or non-GMO project verified labels. For more information on GMOs, go to ConsumerReportsGreenerChoices.org.